Hey, what's up you guys? It is Ty, and today I thought it would be a good idea to see how people feel about a trans man going into the women's bathroom. So, instead of actually being a huge asshole and, you know, giving off some like sexual assault vibes by entering the women's bathroom, I thought I would just interview some women and see how they feel about the bathroom law. So let's go. Today, I just want to get people's feelings about everything that's going on in the news, the controversy regarding transgender bathroom laws and people banning transgender people from using the bathrooms that they want to use. Do you have any, have you heard about this yet? Do you have any like personal opinions or anything that you already feel about that? Um, I have very mixed feelings about it because for one, it's, I feel very awkward about it at the same time, but yeah, I feel like it's very good for those people who, um, feel like they need to use their gender Absolutely. bathroom, but it's still awkward for me personally, but yeah. I feel like they need to do what they need to do, so I support it. That's awesome. I think it's stupid. <laughs> What's what stupid? <laughs> I think it's dumb that if somebody identifies as a male and they look like a male, like they have a beard and chest hair and everything, <laughs> that they have to go in the women's restroom. But like that's totally wrong. I feel like however you you address yourself, female, male wise, I feel like that's that's the restroom you should go into. I, it's been like that for a long time. I don't know why they just recently started publicizing it, it like that. But I think it's wrong in general. I mean, I feel like you just yeah. like targeting certain people, and that's wrong. What's up, guys? So we only got a few interviews over at the mall. A lot of people said no, so now we're at Target doing the same thing. Let's see what happens. Well, have you heard about the controversy recently with the transgender bathroom laws? Yes. Yes, I have. Do you have an opinion on that? Well, my house is divided on the bathroom. Oh, really? So, and we have a lot of debates in our house about the very topic. Can I hear your personal opinion? I think I still waver back and forth between the two. One, I feel like we could have created a different solution rather than just mandate something without really looking at um, I think a third bathroom, like they have in the mall for families, is it great? Absolutely. Yeah. I've used men's restrooms, no one's <laughs> ever said anything to me, you know, I know there have been transgender that use women's and men's, and they don't say anything, no one says anything. Absolutely. I don't think it was a problem until we focused on it in such a way that it created strife between people. I think so, absolutely. A lot of people, the issue that they have is they say, this will lead way to, you know, men essentially going into women's restrooms with the wig on. But what about our boys? I mean, we have young boys in the men's restrooms. If the problem is we're anti-men and children, yeah. then maybe that's the problem that needs to be addressed. All right, guys, so uh, we got kicked off of the premises guy from Target came out and told us not to film in there. So I guess that's all the interviews I have for you. But I'm actually pretty surprised that we got some good results and some good feedback. Here's my camera guy, Sam. So thank you so much, Sam, for videoing. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys got a little insight. Just so you know, this is a small southern town that we are filming in. So, you know, I was not prepared for a lot of people to be super accepting, but really they were. There was nobody who was against it, nobody who had really anything negative to say. So that was pretty cool, pretty cool results. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you have a good day and I'll talk to you soon.